Now, your social media, specifically Instagram, mm -hmm. you have quite a few followers there. Mm -hmm. Are those people following you because of maybe your modeling or your acting or your fitness, or is it music-based? You know what? It's funny because I just had this conversation with my manager today, and um, I think everybody individually follows L.A. Love for their own purposes, honestly. Some fi maybe there's a group of fitness, a group of music, a group of just the naturalism with the fro, um, a group full of just female bosses. Um, there's all types of different reasons, so it's definitely not for just one reason. Yeah, so I would definitely have to say my fan base is definitely versatile. Definitely diverse. How did you get popular? You know what? How I got popular. About nine months from today, my um, momager and I sat down and we were just thinking of ways that we could really get LA Love's brand exposed. Not that I wasn't connected with certain celebrity friends, celebrity things like that, but I said, what can we do, Mom, to really stand out and really bring attention to who L.A. Love really is? So we sat down and we, and, we, and we went over strategy and all that kind of good stuff, and we just really started putting out great content, stepping up the pictures, the visuals, and things like that. Because let's just be honest here. Before they even play your music, before they even you know, get to really who you are and what you represent, Pictures, image, gimmick, all that runs, you know, runs the, uh, sets the mood, runs the wave. So I said, okay. And then also with um, cross-promoting and things like that, um, I linked up. Networking is extremely well. Um, I had a lot of other celebrities um, definitely catch on to what I was doing and they wanted to cross-promote. And I found that extreme. I was blessed with that opportunity. And really, that's how I really all got started. So. Yeah. Now, your Instagram has a pretty healthy fan base. Yeah. Um, is there a strategy to it? There's definitely a formula. I tell people it's not what you do is how you do it. Um, it's not just going out there and hey look at me putting your body out there because you have a body, I have a body, she has a body. Okay, I get it. But it's really actually having substance, having great material, and having a purpose. And when, when I started really incorporating the fitness with the music and giving them other visuals to look at besides, oh, just look at me, it really, really caught on very well. And I was really extremely blessed with that because I, I really feel that social media in general is a platform. And you have to use it for your, to, to your advantage. You know, what works for you might not work for me. What works for her might not work for you. You know, vice versa. So it's definitely a formula to it. It's not just getting up there bareback and, you know, just turning up. It's structure. And that's what I have momager for. So not for me to just go crazy up there. So everything I put up there is definitely planned. It's not spare of the moment. It's not, hey, just do it. Nothing like that. It's all ran by through false lady. What do you think gets the biggest response of, of what you post, of the stuff that you do post? Body pictures, fitness pictures, car pictures, just flexing, just flexing. Like, um, I would definitely have to say that. And any time that I'm actually um, working, any time I'm doing actually any fitness or uh, really just speaking, they just love to hear me. I I've noticed my supporters love to hear me uh, really talk. Um, besides just the pictures, because they're like, wow, you really have something to say. You're really, um, I hear a lot, you're really inspiring to be your age. You know, just 19, like, what? like wow, I can't believe it. So it's, um, I'm honored by it. But uh, it, it, feels real, it feels really good when you can actually put something out as an independent artist and really be accepted. It, it was a journey even to get exposure. It was a journey to get people to actually say, Hell yeah, I'm team boss, you know, the natural's killing them, and everything like that. And um, my love really, truly outweighs my hate, so I'm fortunate. And every day, it's just my fan base is expanding, it's growing. I'm um, seeing my pictures on the Explorer page, I'm seeing my pictures on blogs. I have family members calling me up like, I see you in so-and-so magazine. I see, I'm like, really? Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. So I'm enjoying it, really. How crazy are those DMs? Crazy, crazy. Snapchat is new. The videos I get from males, females, they're so crazy. But I'm like, you know what? 
I love y'all. Even through the good, the bad, the u- ugly, whatever. I, 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 you know, I, I appreciate it. So it's crazy. It's gotten crazier. I've noticed the more my following, following has expanded. It's gotten more crazy. <laughs> really crazy. People sending you stuff, do you notice it's more, as far as percentage-wise, male-women ratio, what do you, what would you say? You get more male stuff, more stuff from women? I would definitely have to say right now it's half and half. It's definitely half and half. I get so much fan love from my women. Um, just really, they're inspiring me to be, to continue to inspire, to inspire them. So I'm, I'm just like, wow, okay. And the males, you know, they like the visuals, they like the, the workout videos, the uh, all the skins, this and that and all that. But um, I love my I love my guys, too. I love my guys, too. But I do really appreciate women really coming together and really glorifying good things, great things, positive things, and really understanding that I represent positive vibes, positive energy, positive people, and a positive attitude through it all, you know. You, 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 you can't kill my flower. My flower is blossoming. It's, it's working. It's moving. It's, you know, no negative stuff. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But what about people trying to holler at you through the DMs? Without saying names. No names. No names. Don't get me in trouble. But do you notice athletes, mm-hmm. musicians? musicians? Yeah, the whole... Honestly, the whole nine. But... I've, I'm, I'm always, I'm always saying that I'm open to always having good conversation. I'm always open to that. Right now, I'm, my mind's not really open to dating and really just giving myself cold heartedly to a person. But I love having good conversation and just having good friends. You know, industry. I mean, it's a small, it's a small industry. So I, you know, industry friends. You know, make mm-hmm. make for good friends sometimes. But just curious as to what you get. Like I said, without naming names. Money proposals, <laughs> proposals, <laughs> real no, proposals. No, and no, this is not a yeah. This is not a ring from one of the crazies or nothing. Real but, proposals. Um, yes, wedding. Like, can you marry me, boss? Like right now. I'll drop this on you. I'll drop that on you. I'm like, really? Wow. Um, yeah, proposals. Um, cars, houses. I've been offered a condo. I've been offered a freaking condo, and I'm like, oh, my God, no, 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 I'm going to do that. I sleep well at night. I got my own house, me and my mom, you know. <laughs> but um, thank you. But um, no, no, no. Yeah, so this has been a lot of stuff, and especially for my women, too. I've been, now, the women, you guys been going hard, too. I've been getting a lot of different things from women, too, like proposals as well. So, Strangest booking request so far? Booking me. Booking me just to come out and have a good time, but before I had, well, before it was offered for me to come out and have a good time, because you show me a good time through FaceTime. No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much self explanatory, so that, that was kind of crazy to me, because the money was, the money was large. You know, it, it was large, but I'm thinking, you just want me to come out, show out, show my face, hi, bye. No, no, no. It was more. It was more to it than that. And I, when I found out it was more to it, I was like, "Oh no, no, no! I'm gone. Thank you." So, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It's really kind of crazy sometimes. Sometimes it scares me, but you just gotta outweigh the good, the bad, and really kind of understand who you're talking to. And everybody's not the same. 